interested in in sounds. You um, said you remember yes, very I, far back. That amazes me. Yes. When you were about two or three years old. Yes, remember? I remember that. And I remember particularly things like riding in the car with my parents, for instance, maybe in the back seat, listening to the sound of the motor and listening to the sound of my parents' voice being voices being modulated by the motor so that the voice sounded all grainy and uh, fluttery, uh, listening to my grandfather tune his crystal radio, listening to my father uh, tune his shortwave radio, listening to the whistles and pops and static. And the old. radio seems to have a radio. particular significance. Oh, indeed. Um, radio, I mean, was uh, that was a world that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so that was your sound, yes, special it was part of your sound world. A special part of the sound world as far as technological sound is concerned. Uh, all of the sounds that one could hear on the radio, uh, everything from the, I mean, I was always fascinated with the in-between sounds and the stations just tuning in between. I love that. For instance, the first, very first one that I ever did was called Teach Yourself to Fly. Mm -hmm. and it was dedicated to Amelia mm -hmm. Earhart. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the instructions are to um, observe uh, your breath cycle and to try to keep your attention on breathing and not trying to change or manipulate the breath in any way, but just simply become attuned to it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next stage is to make the breath audible. Mm -hmm. Then uh, to allow your vocal cords to vibrate in any mode that's natural. In other words, not trying to, uh, to sing, not trying to place your voice anywhere, but simply to um, let the air go through and, and, and vibrate the cords. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the next stage is to increase the intensity of that and then uh, to reverse the whole process and that's the meditation the meditation task is to to stay tuned to the to the breath cycle mm -hmm. while allowing these things to happen and um, with a group say of 150 people it, it becomes quite a, uh, an incredible experience Does it have social and political um, implications to you, the kind of music that you write? Oh, yes. Well, uh, I feel that, that one's interactions, the way one relates uh, in, an, in an organization of any kind is, is political and social and, and very important, I mean, it, in, in, in its detail. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the, the path um, that I hope to be on is one where the energy that comes out of the work that I do is, is beneficial and that, I mean, beneficial to others as well as myself. I want my work to be mutually beneficial. I, I don't, I'm not interested in making an object of, of art and entertainment. Mm -hmm. But I'm interested in making something that uh, helps me to grow and expand and change as an individual and in relation to others. 